you saw the announcement, any any question happy, but otherwise yes. uh, uh, what's you go What's the timeline sir? for uh, for this whole project? When will construction start? When will the the, uh, the oil? What well, construction the is steps? starting? Obviously, what makes this project unique in the world? First of all, we're going to be the first one to produce green steel in the world, so that is a major step forward, I would say. Um, this is about increasing productivity, quality, but also, uh, you know, being far more energy efficient. Uh, it's a program over a number of years to reach the target of 60% reduction. Like I said, it's close to a million cars we're moving out of the street. And if you talk to folks here in Hamilton, and I was here uh, talking to folks, uh, they've seen that over generation, you know, uh, that, that um, the CO2 emission. And now to think that we are putting ourselves on a, on a footing that will make Hamilton the center of the world when it comes to green steel production. Our vision for me as Minister of Industry is to produce green steel, green aluminum, green batteries, green microchips to power uh, the uh, industries of the future. And I was with the Chamber of Commerce this morning. Uh, I'll talk to the mayor again. Um, listen, this is for me is a generational opportunity. Folks have been working here for a generation. And I come from a town like Shawinigan. Trust me, we know that the way to stay competitive is to invest in the next technology. So therefore, I think what you're seeing today is the blueprint of what is really significant today is the revival of large manufacturing sites in North America. We did that with Rio Tinto earlier this week. Believe it or not, Sorel in Quebec, Canada will be the largest site in the world not in Quebec, not in Canada, not in North America in the world for producing titanium. Here we're talking about the first site in the world to produce the greenest aluminium, which is going to be powering the car of the future. My vision, and I've said that to Minister Mittal, and I've said it to the folks at, in Detroit and in California, is to say, I think consumer will move from electric car to green car. And that puts us in the front row because, you know, the car of the future is basically a battery on wheels. And certainly, uh, if we can have green steel, green aluminum, green batteries, we're positioning ourselves to be leader in the world. So that's why, uh, you know, we invested money to make sure that we'd have speed and scale. We want to be the first mover, and I think we found a partner to do that. Is there a timeline for the construction here, though? Do you know what the timeline is? Well, it's over time. You know, they're moving from, from the existing furnace to electric furnace. Uh, I can get you the exact timeline when the furnace is going to be installed. Uh, we know it's over a couple of years, uh, but one is good. What you heard this morning is that you have the big boss of Mittal that say, I want to do it faster. That is what we need to take out because the schedule we had when we made the announcement about a year ago uh, had a longer schedule. What you see now is the executive chairman coming here in Hamilton. He flew in yesterday and he's flying back after a meeting this afternoon to tell the community, to tell the province, to tell the federal government, we're accelerating the timetable. Why? Because we know there's an opportunity to seize. We want to be first mover. We want to produce the greenest steel that will go in the greenest car in the world. My challenge to the automakers have been, let's not just produce the, you know, an electric car, let's produce in Canada the greenest car in the world. And Hamilton will be part of that. Oh, I was just going to ask you, Minister Tassi was mentioning, you know, a great quote about the the skyline of Hamilton is going to be changing yes. with this investment, and, you know, and Hamilton's reputation over the years has been for steel making and everything like that. Just wondering if you can comment on the local impact more so of, you know, not just on the skyline, but the economy. And well, listen, and when jobs. you talk to any mayor in the country, it's tough to even foreshadow what about two billion can do to a community. You know, I was with mayors around the country and you say, what can two billion do to a community like Hamilton? It's even difficult even to imagine because uh, this is probably one of the, sig the most significant, and I think some of you can look at history, probably even the largest investment ever, I would think, in Hamilton. When you think two billion dollar, what we have secured with, with ArcelorMittal is not only this investment, but hundreds of millions in research and development. And also, if you think about the operational cost every year, this is, you know, for, for the folks who have small and medium-sized businesses, uh, the people who are going to be supplier of this plant for generations to come, this is amazing news for the community because it, it's, it's even tough to imagine what $2 billion can do to a community over decades in terms of small and medium-sized businesses, in terms of the shops, in terms of the restaurants. It's kind of the rebirth of Hamilton in a way. And, and I think that with an accelerated timetable, with a partner, we have the executive chairman of Mittal coming here to tell us that. I think this is, uh, you know, it's a moment in history that uh, Almontonian will remember for generations to come. One last question. 
We'll be together for the rest of the day anyway. So merci tout le monde. Merci. Thank you guys.